Hey everybody, uh, so I decided to put this video together for BRG specifically, or anyone out there who wants to use it. There's a, there's a couple things I do every time I do a driver update. When I do a clean installation, uh, I go into my control panel and there's some adjustments that I make because it resets everything. It may help your game out a good bit. Um, if you want to check it out, try these, you can. Um, if you don't like them, that's completely up to you. You change it back if you want. Uh, I'm going to show you on screen right now what I do. I just got done updating my NVIDIA driver to 526.86. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my control panel. I'm going to show you on screen. Hold on. All right. So here is my screen. All right. Um, the minute I open up NVIDIA control panel, which to get there, if you don't know, you literally just right click your desktop, hit show more options, click NVIDIA control panel. I don't think I have to show you how to do that. That's a very simple step. So first things first. Go into manage 3D settings, all right? You can change whatever you want, but these are the the, the main ones I do every single time. Um, I go into here and I go a straight to open rendering GPU. Make sure I just tick my card. I just It's just something I do. From here, power management mode, you have a couple options, all right? You do prefer maximum performance, which will help pretty much all your games. It'll help your GPU run at its peak all the time so you know it's just put it on and forget about it all right and here for the refresh rate i end up going to highest available try to do this pretty slow for you feel free to pause the video i leave all this alone now here's the issue you can either leave this on quality all right to make your texture filtering really nice or you can go to performance or high performance now i have noticed a couple frames increasing when i do that but if you have a 20 series or above, you really don't need to put that on there unless you're really trying to squeeze out every little frame that you want. My personal preference, I like it on quality nowadays, okay? Um, after that, I go straight to vertical sync. I have a high refresh rate monitor. I don't have screen tearing when I play games. I turn mine off. Feel free to keep yours on if you want. I turn mine off. I don't mess with any of these new settings at all. I hit apply. Uh, the next thing I do is I actually go to my change resolution. All right. Um, I have two monitors. I actually scroll down right here. I go to use NVIDIA color settings. I make sure that the dynamic range is set to full. I do the same for both of my monitors. This one's unlimited. I'm going to put that on full. I'm going to go back, make sure it's correct. Make sure the refresh rate is set appropriate. Your screen will flicker a little bit. That is normal. Okay. Um, after that, I go to my color settings. I like a little bit more digital vibrance in my game, so I usually put this up to about 60%. You can go high, you can go low, you can leave it alone. You do what you want to do for your personal preference. All right. After that, I go to adjust a desktop size and position. Typically, you can leave this on display. All right. I am. I like to do a lot of recordings on multiple monitors and Windows seems to still hate that on my 60 hertz when I have something uh, on there and, <clears throat> and I just go back to GPU, hit apply. And there you go. From there, I go to a video, adjust a video color settings. I go to with NVIDIA settings. I go to advanced and I put on full, I hit apply. I do this for both of my monitors. All right, and that's all I do. That's really all you really have to do. Now, if you don't do any, a lot of recordings, things like that, you can actually just go to your search right here, type in game mode, go to game mode settings. I have mine off because I do recordings and use OBS and it doesn't seem to work. If you don't do any of that, turn this on. Just tick it over to on, okay? And after you do that, go to graphics. All right. Look for your game, Modern Warfare, which you can just go to search this list, or you can hit browse. You can do browse. All right. If you don't know, well, hold on. Let me make this easier, okay? If you want it specifically for Call of Duty, pull up Steam, go to Call of Duty, hit properties, local files, browse. When you hit browse, It'll pull this up right here. All you have to do is click the top address bar, copy it, minimize this. We are going to go back to, let me do it this way for you guys. You're going to go back to the graphic setting here from the game mode. Click that. 
under desktop app, hit browse. In the address bar, just paste what you had, hit enter. Now once that's there, you just click COD, and then you hit add. And once it's added, it'll be on one of these settings here. And once it's here, all you have to do is hit options, and you can hit high performance, okay? If you want the game to run at its full potential. That's all you have to do. Those are some things that I always check out constantly whenever I am doing any sort of update. Uh, it seems to help me a good bit. I also have an update here from COD, but other than that, I just wanted to share that video with you guys uh, because I know that a lot of you will do a clean installation of a driver and then you don't touch anything else. You hop into a game and wonder why is my game running more like crap? Check those settings out because they tend to uh, reset. They always reset whenever you do a clean installation. It even says it on there. It's going to reset your profiles, uh, anything you've done. So make sure you guys check that out. All right. If you want more tweaks, there's one more I'm going to show you. Um, it's going into the INI. All right. I'm going to show you that really quick. What you're going to do is go to your documents folder, which is documents. Then you're going to look for Call of Duty, not Modern Warfare, not Vanguard. You're going to Call of Duty. Okay. Double click it, go to players. All right, you're gonna go to options.3.cod22, all right? Um, double click this here, you're gonna open this up, and the first thing you're gonna look for, all right, as you scroll down, right here, display, async compute. This is typically on true, you can put that on false. Uh, it tends to help, if you wanna leave it alone, you don't know you don't want, don't want to do any research or anything like that leave it alone just leave it alone but the biggest and the main reason we're right here is we're going to scroll down to the very very bottom okay under system you're going to look for thread count for handling and then renderer worker count this is the thing you're looking for this is your cpu worker count okay what you're going to do you got to know how many cores and threads your cpu has all right and to do that I'm gonna to go to system information. I have a Ryzen 37 eight core, 16 thread processor, okay? So I am gonna change this portion under the quotations to eight, which is my cores, okay? You can put it on four if you have 16. You can play around with this option, all right? Mine was set to some weird number like seven. All right, it just didn't make any sense. This will help the game for the micro stutters, help it run just a little bit smoother for you. Uh, you could go off by three, like let's say I wanted to put 11 or 10 or nine, whatever, you could do that. It's something you gotta mess with. But to start off, I would start on like, if you have like a 12 core, I would start on like six. Just do just do your main cores, not the threads, just do the main core. Start there and see how it works. If the game is running smooth, leave it alone. If it's not, try decreasing that number or increasing it. Now the good part about this year's Modern Warfare is you don't have to change this file, uh, file to read only. You just literally hit X and save it and you're good to go. Uh, other than that, I hope this, got, this helps you out a little bit. Those are just a couple tweaks. There's a lot more you could do. I'm not gonna go into that. Those are just the main basics that I find to help your uh, my gaming time a little bit easier and smoother. I hope this helps you guys out. If it does, make sure you comment below and let me know that it does. If it doesn't, then let me know and we can help do some research on that later. But other than that, you have an awesome rest of your week and weekend. And as usual, stay hydrated, stay cool or warm, sign word out.